Hello and welcome by Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian. Hello and welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian and as you can see I'm in beautiful Cologne. Here is Cologne Cathedral behind me. Absolutely massive building. This is a city I've been to many times before over the past uh, few years or so. Uh, but uh, obviously the reason why I've come into the town today is there is a Lego store. So let's have a wander down the high street and see if we can find it. Right, here's a slightly different view of the uh, cathedral, or the Dom as they call it here. As you can see, it's absolutely huge. A really, really big building. There's quite a lot of people around as well today. It's a Monday morning. And uh, I'm heading down this street, which is sort of towards where the main shopping area is. It's a rather nice bakery here. As you see, the Germans do love their pretzels. Loads of breads and things on display. A little bit of music for me as well as I walk down the main street. Right, so here's the main street, so you can probably just about make out the Lego logo, which if I get my finger in place there, is just about there. Walk a little bit further down. Here we are at the Lego store then, hooray! In the shop window they had the Pac-Man on display, they also had the new Hogwarts uh, Castle and Gardens uh, and the um, uh, uh, Gringotts Bank as well in its full glory and the Concord, I like what they've done with the uh, um, cotton wool there to make it look like clouds, that's really good, 199 euros in uh, Germany, nice uh, display of Star Wars sets, lots of things in stock that was near the entrance. Uh, they had this uh, Brickheads, uh, it's $39.99 in uh, Germany, that's uh, the same price in pounds in the UK. Uh, this set here is a rather nice little thing, it's from Dreams, this is probably my favourite Dream set that's out at the moment. And this also had the uh, Disney 100 camera, uh, you get some nice minifigures with that, you get Dumbo and Bambi as well as the black and white Mickey. Uh, and inside, I've not seen this before, but you get the Walt Disney figure and you can pop him inside, uh, inside the camera, which I think is quite uh, neat. Some interesting minifigures that they had all packed up and ready to go. Some different ones, I've not seen some of those before in some of the uh, UK stores. Some interesting pieces on the pick a brick wall, as well as these grey profile bits. They had some of these sort of dark tan, uh, sort of reddish uh, colour. They had some um, trees as well. They had these purple ones. I've never seen purple ones before in store. Uh, some of these uh, pieces as well. And they had white bricks as well. Lots of the brick pieces and these one by five pieces as well. I've not seen before. And these as well, these horrible <laughs> coloured ones as well. Uh, some of the uh, display models had all the sort of botanical and insect sets. Quite a few brick heads, including Wally, -E, plenty of those. Some of the other brick heads as well had the new Sonic and the new Tails brick heads. I think that the Tails one tends to be more popular than the Sonic one. And some more uh, brick heads at the bottom there. And they had loads of the Marvel minifigures. Uh, of course, you've no idea what you're getting this time, so you can't uh, feel like the old bags. They also had a, a minifigure factory uh, here. Nobody really using this at the time, but uh, you can obviously uh, make your own minifigure with uh, printed torsos and labels underneath with your name on. Another Star Wars set. Uh, this is slightly more expensive in Euros, this one that's £40 in the UK. And they had a few Monkey Kid sets as well on display in the Cologne store. Not too bad, a lot of stores don't have a lot of Monkey Kid sets, so it's nice to see some of those uh, available to buy. Also had one of them on display as well, which is quite interesting. Not one of my favourite ones, but uh, nice to see that. I also got my Lego Passport stamped as well, so there's my Cologne Germany uh, stamp there, and that just goes with some of the other ones I've already got in my passport. Right, that was the uh, Lego store in Cologne in Germany. I've got my small bag of Lego. I didn't buy an awful lot today. They were not giving any free gifts with purchase away, so it was pointless doing a large, uh, a large sale today. But uh, let me uh, go back to the hotel and I'll show you uh, what I bought today. Now, it's not very often you see an organ grinder. There he is, chatting away. I think someone's dropped their ice cream on this building. 
Here comes my tram. Right, that's me off the last tram then, and it's a short walk now to back to the hotel. Right, here I am back at the hotel. Uh, although it looks a bit grim from the outside, I have to say it's a really nice hotel inside. And it's getting quite hot today as well, so it's really, really warming up again. So let's get in this air-conditioned room, and I'll show you what Lego I bought from the Lego store. Okay, so I'm back in my hotel room now and I've got a really nice little space here uh, with a nice picture of Cologne behind me uh, uh, to sort of show you what I bought from the Lego store. Uh, the hotel I'm staying at is a really, really nice hotel. Uh, we're up on the fifth floor here and we've got a fantastic view uh, out to, into the park uh, that's sort of on the outskirts of Cologne. It's a really, really, really nice hotel. Nice large room as well, which is fantastic. Anyway, you want to see the Lego that I bought. So uh, the main thing that I bought was this set here. This is a brick headset set um, and it is set number 40623 this is the battle of endor heroes uh, this is a star wars set that will be retiring at the end of 2023 it's on the last uh, chance to buy list at the moment from lego.com uh, these retail uh, in europe at 39.99 euros which is um, the same monetary value 39.99 in pounds that it costs in the uk but because the pound is slightly more valuable than the euro at the moment uh, it means that this probably costs around about 34 35 pounds so it's nice to be able to get something like this at a slightly cheaper price uh, than I would be able to get it uh, if I was to buy that from the UK and we've also got a couple of other smaller sets as well a couple of other brick heads that are retiring um, I got this one here which is the uh, the Minecraft zombie uh, this is set number 40626 uh, this is retiring also at the end of the year these are 9.99 in euros so they work out at around about 8 pounds 60 so a little bit of a discount than the 9 9 pounds 99 they cost in the UK. Um, there's currently three different uh, Minecraft uh, brick heads. These only came out these years, so they've got a very, very short shelf life. So I'm going to try and pick a few, uh, pick up a few more of these if I can before they retire at the end of the year. Um, I also got the Alex one as well, uh, set number 40624. Uh, so again, that's nine pound, nine euros ninety nine cost me around £8.61. Uh, they didn't have the Llama, there's another one in this set which is the Llama, they didn't have any of those at all, so hopefully I'll be able to pick some uh, of those up at some stage at another Lego store uh, in the distant future, in the not too distant future. But pretty much that's it for now. No gifts with purchase unfortunately at the moment, which is a slight shame, uh, but I thought it was a good opportunity to pick up some sets at a slightly reduced price uh, than they would normally cost in the UK. Uh, and I think I've got quite a nice little haul. It was a nice to visit the store as well, very nice store, very nice nicely well laid out, a really nice pick of brick wall, some unusual pieces on there as you saw earlier, uh, but uh, yeah, really nice to go into that store and to get my little stamp as well in my Lego passport, which I remember to bring with me on holiday, so really pleased that I got a stamp in there as well. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, until the next video, take care, see you then, bye for now.